Norway qualifiers, 1,184 miles travelled and over 24 hours spent on the road. It's been one hell of a journey for the Blythe Spartans this season in the FA Cup, but today they're back where they belong, Croft Park. It's been the scene of some giant killings in the past. It was Jed Dalton on this very spot that scored the goal against Bournemouth to send Spartans through to the FA Cup third round back in 2008. And it was from here, with a mere 31 seconds gone, that Sean Ray stunned Shrewsbury to set Spartans on their way to a 3-1 win in the first round that same year. Darlington, Skelmsdale, Mickelover and Leek Town were defeated in the four qualifiers, but it's been no easy journey. 13 goals were scored in those games, including two last gasp winners, and it's been a roller coaster ride for Blythe. But manager Tom Wade hopes home comforts can ensure a smooth transition into the second round for his Spartans. Oh, it's brilliant to be at home. Um, the, you know, we'll get a, a big following in today, um, and it, it's what it's all about. And this is what the fans deserve to have a, a first round game at Croft Park. You know, after being on the road all that time, they spent a lot of money following us. Um, but to get a game here is brilliant for the fans. And, and Tom, although only the likes of Robbie Dale was here for the last cup run against uh, Blackburn in the third round, how, how much inspiration can, inspiration can you take from, from those previous cup runs? Well, you know, I know one of the two of the 1978 lads, um, and know most of the 2008, 2009 lads. So, you know, they're all good lads. And the the thing about the 2009 lads were they were all like there was a lot of local lads in there, um, and they were having a little bit of a dodgy time in the in the league because they played so many cup games, a bit like us. And it's it's like a mirror image of what they did, you know. So, the good thing about we've got a lot of youngsters in there who who this might be it for them, you know. This, this may be the, the, the pinnacle of their career, you know. Some's played for England C, we're just looking at the photographs in the dressing room there. And for them, it's what it's all about, you know. I yeah. know the supporters are massive, but I mean, Con's proud of the players, you know, because they came two years ago and the club were struggling a bit financially. And they've came in as young lads and had a fantastic season that last season, and they've all stood up and counted this season. And it's a, it, it's great credit to them, to be honest, like um, because they've dug in, they've done exceptionally well. Yeah. As a Blythe man yourself, what does this cut run and cut runs in general mean to Blythe as a town and as a football club? Um, I think you see the excitement in and around the town first of all, and of course we'll have a bigger crowd than normal. So a lot of people, I wouldn't say jump on the bandwagon. I think we've got a lot of supporters out there that like to come to big matches. Um, but there is a magic of the FA Cup and. I think we're more fortunate than most clubs to actually experience it more than once here at Croft Park. You know, it's been hectic this week. I think we've had everybody in, and that's part of the, um, si the the situation that arises, just simply because of the magic of the FA Cup. And finally, both of you, what would be the last thing you say before the players come out on this pitch at two o'clock? Don't swear. <laughs> <laughs> Give it your all. Don't leave anything in the changing room. Give it your all. No regrets. And what will be, will be. <laughs> But history and form count for nothing now, and one of Blythe Spartans or Altrincham Town will be in the second round of the FA Cup. Commentary comes from myself, and first, Ryan Gray. Certainly started brilliantly. Robbie Dale whips that one in, and it hits. That <laughs> hits Reeves in the face. He certainly felt that one, and he skips away. Ryan! He's pulled down the penalty. Yeah! The referee points to the spot. Spartans have the perfect chance to start on the right foot here with the goal. Def definite penalty there on Robbie Dell. Just jinx pass. His man love, we've seen him do so many times. And uh, he brought him down. Pano. Dale steps up. Sends the keeper yeah. the wrong way. And Bly Spartans have taken the lead against a side 48 league places above them. This could be the start of a glorious cup upset here at Croft Park. Playing here. A long two with Wade. Wade didn't really know too much about it. It just ricocheted off him. But now Rivers cutting forward. And he's played in Danny Maguire. Danny Maguire trying to get away here from Gianluca Haven. Gianluca Haven standing his ground well though. Maguire turning. Trying to send it to Robbie Dale. It's cleared away by Dentmore. But only as far as Maguire. Maguire to Wade. Wade, lovely ball back inside. Maguire's in the penalty area. Gets the shot. Yeah! Coburn at the near post and 
Blythe Spartans are beating a side two leagues above them. Back in the right here on the edge of the area. Tremendous turn, surely that's a foul. Tom Wade can't believe it. And the ball forward finds Kyle Perry, who sends a glorious effort over the top of Peter Jeffries. But they're just taking that one up the air. And a sumptuous ball over to Robbie Graham in the very space on far left hand side. Skipping away from Hayden. Gets the shot. Oh! seconds on the clock and as Hutchinson can turn and send it down the pitch and that is that my Spartans continue this fantastic scintillating FA Cup run two goals today what a win how do you feel was not it I uh... Go for the lads who deserved it. We'll put our team on the day and get a good draw next round, see what happens. And your two goals, wonderful to get into those positions and score those goals. You know, how big are they in, in your career as a whole? Ah, biggest, probably the biggest scores I've scored so far. Uh, important, but team around you, they give you the ball and let you play and take your chances on the come. And how, how big were this crowd on you today? Oh, massive. Mate, they make you feel that player. They're always good support, section. For the club, how do you feel? Unbelievable. I mean, we're confident going into the game. Like you know, we always thought we could win it, but the man of the day, I just, I don't think we let him settle for a second. And to come away for one winner is just fantastic. Back up by the lads. And to score in the way you did in the first minute, you were just on the front foot from from there on in, and they didn't look two two leagues above you, did they? That was it. We watched. Uh, obviously, a lot of lads watched Warren on Friday night. You know, nicked the goal and then hung onto it. Did brilliantly. I mean, got the early goal. I don't think we could do the same, but. Like I say, the go on and get another three goals after that, just absolutely outstanding. And into the second round draw now, and is the aim now to try and reach the third? Oh, without a doubt, you know what I mean? I mean, we've shown some great form recently, last 13 games or so. No reason we can't do it again. <laughs> Tom, well, what a win today. Could you ever, ever have dreamt it would go that well? Uh, you couldn't dream of that. Um, you dream of winning. Maybe it's 1 0 or 2 1 in a scrappy game and score in the last minute. You can dream of that. But you kind of dream of 4 1 against a Cobford side. And it could have been a lot more, to be honest with you. And the start that your boys did, obviously, with the penalty to begin with, it, you know, how, how much was that a player in uh, the, the whole performance, how well you started? I think that, you know, me and Colin had a chat about the team and we, um, we decided to play a more um, combative midfield uh, first half and um, we worked the trick because we worked hard. The three midfield players I thought first off were absolutely outstanding. Um, they laid a platform for the forwards to play. Um, they won most of the balls in there, they let them play it all and it just set things up for the second half. Yeah. And you had a few injuries in there as well, didn't you, with Turnbull and uh, Nicholson coming off? 
but uh, the boys came, the boys that came in, Hooks and uh, Dixon, did, did the team proud as well? Yeah, immensely. Um, proud of Dixon. He's come from nowhere and he's absolutely outstanding player. Uh, Turnbull's um, got a little problem with his, with his knee. He had to come off him really. He's got cramp. He did a cramp there just uh, five minutes in the second half. So he's, he's, he's battled on as well. So probably um, subs, we always thought that we'd have to make the sub in midfield. We didn't expect them to. We thought Hawkins and Wayne would run out with the energy. So, um, great subs. Subs were brilliant when they come on. But it's a squad game, isn't it? And, uh, you know, the buzz around the club in the last few weeks has been, you know, ridiculously big, but it's just going to get even bigger from now on now on until the second round game, isn't it? Yeah, you know, the performance was just unbelievable. Um, we were trying to count, um, you've got probably four, six, probably seven or eight players are twenty one under. You know, it's, to, to play like that in this level against a comfort side is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, so the future is bright with Blythe and... Um, well, what a day it's been here at Croft Park. A pulsating 4-1 victory over Altrincham sends Blythe Spartans into the second round of the FA Cup. Well, the famous Blythe Spartans now we're going to Wembley.